All that said, put that aside for a mm -hmm. moment. Toss it over to Tracy, who's got fog. Hey, uh, Walt, well, you remember Schoolhouse Rock? Yeah. Conjunction, junction. What's your function? Uh, totally, the Greek conjunction. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. Right. Yesterday, on the winter solstice, is when these two planets, Jupiter and Saturn, overlapped. So if you saw it last night, it probably looked like one huge star, right? We have not had that happen, I think, at nighttime, clearly visible in 800 years. So if you had the opportunity to check it out, take a photo. I hope you took one. You can also check it out again tonight. Of course, they just won't be as closely aligned. But if you have a photo, you can always upload it to the ABC 10 app, and then I can work it into the weather forecast, and we can talk about it. So let's talk about the weather yesterday. Average daytime high is 53. Yesterday, we hit 50 degrees. Average morning low is 38. Yesterday, 35. This is for Sacramento Executive Airport. I did mention yesterday was the winter solstice, so that makes today the first full day of a winter. So for your weather headlines, dense fog in the forecast yet again. Bear in mind, fog does give the illusion of slow motion when you are driving, so make sure you slow down. Winds will help mix out those low clouds, and that should give us improving conditions around mid-morning. And then after that, I'm turning my attention to Christmas because we do have an opportunity for rain and snowfall coming in, as well as an opportunity for more rain and snow Sunday and Monday. Here's a look at current visibility concerns, and you can see why I am concerned. One mile of visibility in Sacramento, zero in Marysville, zero in Fairfield. With the low visibility, it can definitely kind of hamper things for the morning. Uh, here's a look out toward our Gilmore backyard, and we are looking at some fog. That's denoted here by those lines that you see. That denotes low clouds, and we are looking at the opportunity for those clouds in the forecast for this morning. Temperature's not moving so much because of the clouds, so we're looking at the lower 40s. We've kind of been stuck in that same ballpark for the past couple of hours. And as we move out with your satellite and your radar, a few sprinkles and a few flurries came in through parts of the higher terrain and early this morning compliments of this cold front right here but I like this cold front this cold front is going to clear out those morning clouds and it's also going to have some northerly winds kind of diving back behind it northerly winds tend to be drier and warmer so today's afternoon high should be about 10 degrees higher than what you enjoyed yesterday here's a look at our satellite on our radar I mentioned the opportunity for rain let's take a look at it clouds increasing on Christmas Eve with the opportunity for showers coming in midday Friday through Friday night and even a few leftover showers in the forecast Saturday when you're heading out there to exchange all those wonderful gifts you loved, but not so much. <laughs> 10 day forecast, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers off and on in the forecast Friday through Monday. Now we will turn our attention to what else is happening and that's going to be the fog this morning, especially with your driving. So looking out toward the Tower Bridge, you can make it out a little bit there. That bodes well for this morning. Again, the opportunity for improving conditions building in around 9 to 10 o'clock this morning.